Do you know that there are four ways to avoid Australian student visa delays? PhD student visa delays are causing anxiety among international students and Australian academics. Visa delays are sparking frustration among PhD students who have received offers from Australian universities. Here's what you can learn from this sage. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our Immigration Information and News Channel, a 2Z Immigration Updates. Since the reopening of Australian borders reopened on December 15, 2021, the Department of Home Affairs, DHA, has reportedly been grappling with an influx of applications. Visa backlogs by those affected by the country's two-year border closure add more delays. There was also a budget cut of 875 million Australian dollars to the DHA, which could have increased the student visa processing times. 90% of PhD student visa applications take up to 10 months, according to DHA data. All international students must apply for a subclass 500 student visa to study in Australia. If you are thinking about starting this postgraduate journey in Australia, here are four tips to help get your visa on time. Remember this. There is no magic bullet to speed up your visa application once you have submitted it. It is also difficult to predict when you could get your Australian student visa. But there are certain things you can do to help reduce basic visa application errors that can slow down your application. First is fill out your application correctly. Check through all the necessary details in your application and ensure you have all your documents. Here's a checklist of what you need for this application. You need your offer letter, your confirmation of enrollment, proof of English proficiency, you can click here to see the acceptable English test, a letter to satisfy the genuine temporary entrant requirement, proof of sufficient funds, overseas student health cover, OSHC, insurance coverage, a medical certificate. You would also need to pass the health and character requirements for this application. You can also get someone to help you with your application, such as a registered migration agent, a legal practitioner, or an exempt person, notes the DHA. Second thing is, to submit genuine documentation. This is a no-brainer. The DHA recommends check twice, submit once for a faster visa processing time. Do consider attaching separate verifications for the documents you submit. Third is, don't apply at the last minute. Once you have been accepted into your program at an Australian university or institution, start collecting the necessary documents needed for your visa and apply immediately. Then you have to respond immediately if you're asked to provide additional documentation. If the DHA contacts you for further clarification or requests more documents regarding your application, reply promptly to prevent any delays. Some applications can be rejected due to insufficient or incomplete documents. Remember to check your Immigration and Border Protection IMMI, online account regularly. If a migration agent is handling your application, follow up by checking if there are any requests by the DHA. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.